It's story time. Sergio sees the good. A story of one not so bad day. Written by Linda Ryden. Illustrated by Sherry Malone. Sergio came home from school and slammed the door. What's wrong? said his mother. How was your day? Terrible! It was a terrible day, said Sergio. I dropped my lunch tray and my food went everywhere. He threw his backpack onto the floor. It was a completely awful day. Are you sure the whole day was terrible? His mom asked. Why don't we make sure? Huh? said Sergio. How? Go get the scale from the high shelf. You know, the old one that belonged to your grandfather. What for? asked Sergio. You'll see. And bring me that jar full of marbles from your room, said Mom mysteriously. Okay, said Sergio, feeling really confused. So, said Mom, let's rewind your day. We'll go back to the beginning and try to remember everything that happened. What are the scale and marbles for? asked Sergio. The right side of the scale is going to be the good side, and the left side is going to be the bad side. For every bad thing you remember from today, we'll put a marble on the bad side. And for every good thing you remember, we'll put a marble on the good side. When we're done, we'll see which one is heavier. That's how we'll decide if it was a good or bad day. Okay said Sergio, but I already know that the bad side is going to be way heavier. Let's just wait and see, okay? Mom said. Well, I told you about one really bad thing that happened when I dropped my lunch. It ruined the whole day. Yes, I think you could put in three marbles for that, said Mom. Sergio put three marbles into the bad side. The scale tipped all the way to the left. Yep, that's what my day was like. Totally bad. Now, said Mom, let's get started with the rewind. What's the first thing that happened today? Well, I woke up, said Sergio. In your nice warm bed? Uh, yeah. So put one marble in the good side. Not everyone is lucky enough to have a warm bed to wake up in. Okay, said Sergio. Then what? asked Mom. Uh, I had breakfast. Waffles, my second favorite breakfast food. Well, that's good. Marble, please, said Mom, gesturing toward the scale. Sergio put another marble in the good side. Then I played basketball with Henry before school and made a three-pointer. Mm-hmm, said Mom, smiling. I know. Marble, please, said Sergio, smiling just a little. But then some older kids came over and took the basketball, he said. That was definitely not good. Okay, then put another marble in the bad side, said Mom. Then what happened? We were supposed to have a math test, but it was postponed. That's definitely good. Sergio dropped another marble in the good side. And next? That's when the whole day was ruined, said Sergio. I was walking over to the lunch table and I dropped my tray. It was a huge mess. Peas went rolling everywhere and the kids laughed at me. Oh dear. It was so embarrassing. You could put an extra marvel in the bad side for getting laughed at, said Mom. So then what happened, asked Mom. Did you clean it up by yourself? Well, no. Henry and Yoab and Tiaja helped me clean it up. And then Mr. Howell, the custodian, came over with the big broom. He wasn't mad at all. He's really nice. So where does the next marble go? Good side, I guess, said Sergio. People were really nice to me. But you didn't have any lunch, said Mom. That's bad. She reached over to put a marble in the bad side. But Sergio stopped her. Actually, Henry gave me his apple, Yoab gave me half his sandwich, and Tiaja gave me her cookie. Sounds like a pretty good lunch and pretty good friends, said Mom. I know, I know, said Sergio. Another marble on the good side. Then what? 
In the afternoon, we had music class, and Mr. Holmes let us make up songs. Yoab and I wrote a song about the peas that fell on the floor. It's called Peas on Earth. Want to hear it? Maybe later, said Mom. Marble, please. Oh, and I walked home with Tiaja, and she told me a funny joke. Sergio put another marble in the good side, then said, Hey, all this remembering is making me hungry. What's for dinner? Your dad made macaroni and cheese, said Mom. My favorite! I guess I'd better put in another marble. Well, look at that, said Mom. The good side of the scale is pretty heavy. Do you still think this was a totally bad day? Gee, I guess not. It was actually pretty great. How come I was so focused on that one bad thing? That's just the way our brains work, said Mom. They're wired to keep us safe, and they make sure we remember dangerous things. Scientists call this the negativity bias. Our brains focus on and remember negative things and let good things slide right out. Why? asked Sergio. Well, this bias probably helped our early ancestors, who were mostly focused on trying not to be eaten by big animals. It's not as helpful today. But doesn't it still help? I mean, remember when I touched that cactus and it really hurt? I'll never do that again. Thank you, negativity bias. Yep, that's what the negativity bias is for. But sometimes it can make us think that life isn't as great as it really is. We forget about all the little good things that happen and just focus on the bad stuff. Yeah, that's definitely what happened to me. The neat thing is that noticing and being thankful for the little good things is a great way to overcome the negativity bias and see our lives more clearly. We don't have to pretend that bad things don't happen, but remembering positive things helps to keep the scales a little more balanced. Cool, said Sergio. I'm going to go warm up that mac and cheese, said Mom, and she headed into the kitchen. Sergio looked at Phoebe and said, I think I better put in one more marble. He dropped a marble in the good side and whispered, Thanks, Mom. The end. Join our channel and subscribe.